This is CBS 5 Eyewitness News. Do you have one, one of those new PG&E smart meters? They're supposed to help you understand your energy use, but we've heard from many viewers who think smart meters are anything but. CBS 5 investigative reporter Anna Warner looked into them. Anna. Well, Dana, if you don't have smart meters yet, you will, and there's no choice. They'll be installed in all Bay Area homes by 2012. But some viewers are asking us to investigate this. If the meters are so great, why do their bills seem to be going up? Tonight, we put the questions to PG&E and get some surprising answers. They're the new electronic meters PG&E is installing on every home in the Bay Area, called smart meters. They're an absolute critical, necessary um, first step. A first step, says PG&E's Andrew Tang, toward a new way of monitoring your energy use. Now we don't need to send people to go to individual homes and to read meters every time. Instead, PG&E will be able to read these meters remotely, and not just by the month, but by the hour. And they say they'll be able to control your usage remotely, too. So if there's a heat wave, they can turn your air conditioning down from a distance, which they say may avoid rolling blackouts and reduce the need for expensive power plants. In the long run, PG&E even promises smart meters will help customers know when to conserve energy so they can save money. I do believe bills will go down. But so far, many customers say the result has been just the opposite. Her bill was $873. When PG&E rolled out the meters in the Central Valley last summer... What we saw is an outcry from folks from Bakersfield to Fresno. After listening to those complaints, Senate Majority Leader Dean Flores told us... I think PG&E has been less than truthful. What about... The explanations Flores says the company gave some of those customers, like telling them their old meters just weren't as accurate as the smart meters. There's no doubt that PG&E has lied to its customers when it comes to replacing the old meters with the new meters and somehow saying that the old meters were defective. Something Tang now admits isn't true. Should PG&E customer service representatives be saying to somebody, well, it's probably just that your old meters weren't accurate? No, they shouldn't. The customer service response, I think, is, uh, is not consistent. Tang blames the Central Valley's higher bills primarily on a hotter than normal summer. But if that's the case, why have there been complaints all over the Bay Area? Like in Pittsburgh, where Jennifer Kravonik's bill jumped from $80 to $329. It just went up. Or in Brentwood, where homeowner Steve Moon says... I got a bill in December for $1,107. There's got to be a mistake. No mistakes, says PG&E. After reviewing their accounts, the company says their meters were working correctly, just like those of the 1,500 other Californians who complained. Out of that 1,500, we haven't found um, any issues. But consumer advocate Mindy Spat says that still doesn't explain something else. Customers with the smart meters claim that their energy usage has inexplicably risen since the meters were put in. So in other words, it makes it look like they're all of a sudden they're using twice as much energy as they used to use. Exactly. Like Concord's Bill Galvin. When you start getting bills like this, I mean, it just blows a person away. He doesn't use his gas furnace much. His thermostat stays at 62 degrees. And his bill used to run about 100 bucks. But after he got a gas smart meter... The last bill I received is $380, and how come, I don't know. But when Galvin called PG&E to tell them something was clearly wrong... All they would tell me is, you're using too much power. They don't want to try to deal with you. But after we asked PG&E, a crew went out to his house to check and found that smart meter was incorrectly installed. We're incredibly sorry that this happened. This shouldn't have happened. Mr. Galvin's case is really one of the... Um, one of the first cases that we found. So you're saying Mr. Galvin has the only meter with a problem? Um, we are, to date, this is, you know, we, Mr. Galvin's case, um, you know, is unique. It's the first one that we've, we've seen. And as to the other complaints of higher bills, Tank says many consumers simply don't realize that rates have gone up. If there was a failing on our part, it was a communication failing on the rate increase. What do you think went wrong there? Um, we didn't communicate anything about rate increases. And one of the reasons for those rate increases, the $2.2 billion needed to put in those smart meters.
the first people paying into this should have been the utilities, not the consumer. From the consumer perspective, what am I getting from my investment in the meter? Right now, it seems like consumers have got nothing but trouble. Well, PG&E maintains that the overall complaint rate for smart meters isn't different from that of the old meters and that these complaints reflect a typical pattern of summer and winter complaints about high bills. But given what we found with Bill Galvin's gas meter, the company says it's now changing its processes for checking meter performance. That one, they say, was a, quote, big mistake. The PUC also says they're investigating the meter issues. Now, if you've had an experience with smart meters you'd like to share or another story we should investigate, go to cbs5.com slash investigates and send me an email. We'll be interested to hear about it. Dana, we'll keep uh, watching this for you. Well, I'll be looking at my bill. Thank you, Anna.